Louie Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Farming Simulator 22 and this is Tractor Pulling Pack by Dominic. It is 26.66 megabytes to download and there is quite a few things included with this. Uh, the, the big, the, the keynote, uh, the uh, jewel of the crown as it were, is the pulling sled. However, we do have a few other items and a placeable, a way station uh, that comes along with this pack and we're going to go through it uh, piece by piece and in hopefully a logical order um, to explain how this all works. Now this is purely a um, I'm going to say a fun mod something that uh, you can uh, play around with your friends or just have some kind of a little bit of a pulling contest for yourself. It's really a tractor pull sled to test um, the pulling power of your uh, tractor along with a few other um, bits and bobs that kind of go along with the tractor pulling um, genre, shall we say. Uh, and it's been interesting the items he's added to kind of simulate what goes on a tractor pull. It's been many many years since I've been at a tractor pull. However, I do have the basic concept of what it's all about and I have plowed out actually a piece of uh, dirt here. Now um, I, I'm very poor at setting up these kind of scenario things and so forth so it's going to be pretty plain. It's not going to be as pretty as the uh, pictures in the description by Dom. I know he's been working on this for quite some time and uh, it has turned out quite nicely. So, bef so without yammering on too much let's take a look at the items in this pack now the easiest way to get them all without missing anything is going to mods and dlcs and tractor pulling pack now this is these are the uh, buyable ones there is also a placeable that we will look at we got a pulling sled we have a uh let's see compactor roller we have a sprayer and we have a portable grandstand. Yes, so that's all what we have here. Sprayer, uh, we'll, we'll, as I say, we'll go through them one at a time. The other piece is this way station. The way station, I guess we'll start with because that's going to be under buildings and tools. And uh, the bird just flew into my... <laughs> okay. Photo bomb by a bird. Um, so here's the way station, four thousand dollars. Do believe two slots on console. So it's pretty much um, a prop. Well, it's not just a prop. It uh, if we drive up this tractor here, I've got everything in versatile type colors just for this demonstration. And we'll just pull up onto the way station, and this way. Uh, you can weigh your tractor, weigh the sled to see how much it weighs. Uh, 19,120 kilograms for this tractor. Right, so. As I said, we have uh, plowed out a piece of field. Now to prep this for actual use, uh, Dom has provided a roller. Now that one if you want to find it in um, in the tools, it's going to be actually under silo compaction. And here it is, the Stergo 485 Pro Wield, $500. And it is the Stergo four slots on console. We have additional weight, yes or no. So you can actually use this for silo compaction or rolling if you want uh, and we have color options all of them Ooh, even some special ones as we can see up there plus all these uh, wonderful uh, colors here and of course chrome and copper etc that's very nice actually that's kind of like a hammered copper look very nice no charge for the color change $500 for the additional weight. Okay, so let's hop into a tractor. So we need to prep the uh, test area or 
the the run area whatever whatever you call it the track yes uh, I'm on the right side no I'm on the wrong side there so let's do that move that oh that's heavy I set this up for the thumbnail and I didn't anticipate there we go come on all right let's get this out of here it's uh, quite heavy as you can see because it is a uh, in essence a silo compactor and a roller all right here we go L1 and X unfolds it like so and what else we got here that's about it we uh, lower it and oh, 16 miles per hour that's pretty good for a roller so uh, obviously what we're doing here is uh, we're smoothing out the test area as you would on a real tractor or, or as I understand it you would want to make a nice smooth uh, test surface or a surface for the tractors to pull the sled on and that is what we're doing like so right okay uh, of course you can also use this as a roller for your field uh, because that's really what it is and it does uh, it actually goes pretty quick let's just t take a quick look at rollers we were going at 15 miles per hour that is uh, double that is double the um, the speed of a of the other rollers yeah 15 miles per hour so if you're looking for a fast roller um, you might want to check this out for uh, for that let's see do we have oh yes we have lights let's see if we fold that up lights and signals all right and Wait a minute, we have a pin hitch back there too. There is a hitch on there. And since we have a trailer here, no, okay, so that's a ball hitch. No, that's a pin hitch. That definitely looks like a pin hitch to me. And that is a pin hitch there. Hmm. So not looking like it's hooking up to that. Oh. It's hooking up to that. Alright, so it also has a hitch on it, as you can see. So a roller that goes fifteen miles per hour and a hitch. Nice. Okay, so what is next well um, you're going to water you want to wet down this to keep the dust down and keep the surface moist so Dom has provided um, a box grater it's called however uh, you can fill it with a product and that is going to be found aside from uh, in tools under the sprayers and here it is the box grater um, up to 60,000 liters, 6.6 uh, .6 meters at 15 miles per hour. Uh, liquid, liquid fertilizer or herbicide. So that's, you may say that's a bit odd, shouldn't it be water, but uh, in this, in FarmSim 22, you cannot spray water out of a tank like this. Uh, it's, it's, the game doesn't let you. So that is why I'm assuming he put in a herbicide or fertilizer because that is something that actually works in the game. So configuration standard or the Unreal 60,000 liters, 600 or 60,000. And then we have color options for the frame. Like so, no extra charge for any of that stuff, uh, $1,500. So I have this one filled with liquid fertilizer. 
let's grab our tractor and uh, demonstrate. So of course this is a sprayer and thus uh, you can use it to spray fertilizer or herbicide on a crop but for the purpose of this mod um, this is to simulate the uh, watering down <clears throat> to keep the dust I mean to wet the uh, to wet the surface down for the uh, traction and pulling of the tractors and so forth and so on and as you can see the uh, the 600 liters uh, are they even is it even going down the 600 liters is going to last a very long time. I don't think it's even going. Could it could be because? Um, well, I don't know why it, the uh, 954 liters out of 600. So I used six liters of. Uh, and. Oh. It, um. Oh, look at that. Oh, it takes it from rolled to, to cultivated state. It's actually a grater. It is a grater. That's what it's called with, with water. Huh. That's really neat. So you turn it on, turn on the sprayer, but the sprayer actually see see in, ahead of it as the rolled, the rolled state, and as you go forward, it's like um, cultivating. Stop engine unload. Very interesting, kind of really, huh? Uh, turn off the sprayer, then it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't do it. You have to turn it on, and it will do. Yeah, look at that. So cultivate and spray at the same time. Interesting. Very interesting. Now, uh, turn it off. There we go. At 15 miles an hour again. Right. Okay. So. You're going to need uh, some grandstands for people to observe. And that's what we have here. We have a grandstand. And you can actually enter it. There we go. And sit and watch if you like. Now, where do we find this? This is going to be found. That's a good question. Ah, here it is under tools and miscellaneous. And there it is. Portable grandstand, $1,000. Of course, it's, uh, oh, and we have the pulling sled right beside it. So we'll look at that last. Portable grandstand. Uh, we have colors. Uh, let's just make the frame yellow. There we go. It's a metallic looking yellow. The deck, we're going to make that pink. Metal, metal floor. Seats, let's make that uh, this beautiful shade of green. And rim color is down here. Rim color, we can make that orange so you can see it. So that uh, that is your grandstand. Now, uh, how to move it. Uh, let's just move this out of the way for a minute. Right. And let's jump into here. So you can't drive it, even though you can enter it. You can't drive it. Just uh, It's very easy to just hook up and pull pull around to the side here there we go say we want to just set it up right here we drop that down and if we get out and get in the grandstand oh it also has a hitch if we go l1 and x l1 and x it puts the wheels up so that it's not going to roll around or anything and that's all you can do actually in there 
I don't see anything about multiplayer or uh, Kubota. Oh yes, there we go. So the grandstand, um, one passenger in the base game, as you, as I shown. But up to seven people if you have the Kubota DLC multi passenger uh, or the multi passenger feature in the Kubota DLC. So you can have to have, have up to seven people in here on multiplayer if you have the Kubota DLC installed and on your map. Right. Okay, so now back, as we say, to the elephant in the room the sled. Um, this is uh, quite the machine. So let's first of all look at uh, look at it under tools and miscellaneous. And there are quite a number of options that you need to know about. First of all, how much weight do you want to have in this? You can have uh, in increments of 1100, I do believe. Yes, increments of 1100, it looks like cement blocks. So 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, you get the idea, all the way up to 13,200 uh, 13, kilograms of weight. Um, 18 miles per hour, it is self-propelled, 18 miles per hour, 200,000 or 20,000 liters of fuel, it looks like. Um, 13, 39 tons. Uh, yes, all oh, fully weighed down 39 tons. So empty, empty is 25 tons. Fully weighed down with the concrete blocks, 39.3 tons. All right, moving on. We have choice of branding. So we all already have the standard branding on the back sides there. We have case, challenger, cloth, stutes, fence, and we could go through them all. There is literally every brand, I think, in the game, possibly. Um, Oh, almost pretty much everyone in the game. Now even Volvo has been added. Very nice. Look at that. Cravat and the Volvo BM and Volvo. So that's nice. Guard is up front there. So there's a little fence there. Yes or no. Uh, folding mechanism. Now that is the weight. How fast the weight moves forward when you activate it. It's standard medium speed or slow speed so standard i would assume is fairly quick medium is well slower and then slow is really slow so that is um you at, at this point this is where you pick the weight and how fast that weight moves forward as in a actual s pulling sled tractor pull sled if you're familiar with them at all hub color we have every color available for the hubs Main color, we can choose, let's say, white or uh, beige, as you can see here. And fender color, we can pick that, so you can see there. Cab color, uh, let's pick something, there we go. And, whoops, and the lead sled, as it were, there we go. And then a rim color, finally, like so. So those are all the colors. No charge for the colors. That's nice. I like that, Dom. Thank you. <clears throat> right. Okay. So how does it work? Well, there's lots going on here. So let's hop in. It does have an engine. So you start it up. Interior is uh, kind of like tractor uh, interior with uh, all the all the different bits and bobs so we'll start it up we go out let's see we have lights lots of lights we have a beacon we also have a hitch back here with a pto and all that stuff um what can we see we can hook up to All right, just uh, just to see what uh, we got here. Yes, it will hook up to a trailer, so that's uh, that's confirmed. All right, so I've been trying this out a little bit. There are a few things we can go over. 
Now, L1, uh, fold vehicle X. So I bought that actually is how you start the sled moving. I had it to the front, I was, I was trying it out. So when you get it, it starts at the back here. I don't have any weights on it at the moment. So there is that's L1 and X. We'll show we'll show you how this all works with a tractor pulling it in a moment. Okay, L1 and down pipe out. That does this. And the reason it does that is because uh, you can uh, use a semi to move it around for transport if you have a you know a longer way to go or whatever so like so oh let's see it does seem a little bit hard to pull around though for some reason Perhaps because I have it running? Hmm. Yes, so open cover. Nope, oh, there we go. Let's unhook that. Oh. Oh, because I've had... Oh, that was connected to the chain. Hmm. So the chain's supposed to disappear. And this is supposed to hook up. Is that... Oh, there we go. So, no, still, hmm. Might be a little bit of an issue with um, pulling it around like that. I think it's still hooking up to the, yeah. <clears throat> so, Dom, I think there's a little bit of an issue with pulling it with a semi-truck. It looks, it, it's acting like I'm trying to pull the sled for a competition. So, let's just... Uh, close the no not pipe in there we go next thing is the closed cover it puts those wheels up and down L1 and uh, left on the d-pad so when the wheels are down it's the steering wheels it is the wheels that you drive around with right so when you're ready to uh, so L1 and open cover sets those wheels down and now it is ready to pull you can still drive it around actually quite easily hmm but that is the uh, position where you get it ready for pulling all right so that is everything to do with that actually all the options there uh, it does travel fairly quickly on its own 18 miles per hour so once you get it to your destination it's really not going to be going anywhere so that's not going to be uh too much of a problem all right so let's let's get to it let's get to pulling this thing and uh, this thing is quite a bit overpowered for the amount of weight in there sorry i just had to suddenly sneeze Right, so it's a little tricky. So what we're trying to do now is we're gonna hook up to this chain with this tractor. And as we back up, it's a little bit tricky, but if you're careful and back up just enough, there we go. See that pulling sled, hook it up, there we go. Chain is connected, right. So the chain is connected. It is now connected to the tractor. We have the wheels up. Uh, we have, uh, in this case, we don't have any weight in here, which is going to make it extremely easy to pull. However, you must have the wheels up. 
and uh, of course it looking in this not with the other not with the cover uh, or unfolded uh, so. yeah anyways uh, you can control the sled from the tractor as we can see here pipe out closed cover you don't want to be touching any of those pipe out closed cover the only thing you want to do when you're in a tractor with this and you're ready to go is L1 and X and let's go back here L1 and L1 and X starts that sled moving forward so then as you go the sled starts moving forward putting extra weight on the front now of course there's no weight in this so it's very easy to pull but you get the idea so it doesn't automatically do that you have to actually activate that by doing the L1 and X and so at this point it's like okay we're done the pull you want to detach so you're in the tractor and you have the uh, sled highlighted you press X and it will detach and then uh, you jump back into the sled and you can go L1 and uh, close the cover left on the d-pad put the wheels up then back up there we go backing up to get ready for the next tractor right so I'm going to uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and load this thing up with cement and uh, we're gonna retest it uh, with that big old tractor actually um so I thought I'd show you this part because this is where like oh there's not enough weight in there so you just go to a repair air uh, you know a repair vehicle repair place and you go in there to customize it and weights this is where the top one weights so you can let's just fill it right up with the 13,200 and let's uh, the folding mechanism yeah, medium slow standard so we had it on standard which is the fastest um, let's put it on uh, medium just to see what that does and then customize yes okay there we go so now we've added weight so that's as simple as it is really uh, how to add weight to it if you find that it's too light and uh, let's let's go ahead and try out the uh, scale here so our sled now weighs 39,299 kilograms so that should be enough a weight to test out the old versatile there shall it not all right let's get this straightened out and make sure our chain is kind of in a spot where it's going to be able to easily connect and let's jump back into our tractor and hook up hook it up again There we go. Straighten it out. And L1 and pipe in. Oh, not pipe in. No, don't press pipe in. Open cover. There we go. Lifting up the wheels. So now it's dragging on the ground. And if we're ready to go, I know it's a little crooked, but if we're ready to go, L1 and X starts doing the unfold. And here we go. As you can see, it's moving forward a little bit slower it's still pretty easy to pull but I'm in a big old versatile tractor here so it's not typically something you would and there it is so yeah this guy's pretty big he's gonna pull this thing around everywhere no matter how much weight is on there so we'll disconnect jump out jump back into our and L1 and X moves that back and we can just back up again do 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 back up all the way ready getting ready oh let's uh, do the 
close the cover there we go get our wheels back out so we can turn and so forth and so on and get ready for the next pull and I think that covers everything um, so we got the uh, yeah grandstands that you can either stand on or get into and watch up to seven people we got the uh, sprayer cultivator combination that's very interesting uh, the roller that goes at 15 miles per hour as well as this sprayer cultivator combination uh, unit and of course the pulling sled and there you have it that's the tractor pulling pack by Dominic 26.66 megabytes to download sleds 14 slots and then the other pieces are four four and two slots each so uh, very interesting go have fun with this uh, it's a very neat a very uh, well thought out um, and kind of lots of really neat pieces to this um, um, big shout out to Dominic uh, for his hard work on this mod very well done sir and uh, and that's all thank you all for watching I'm Looney Farm Guy and remember it's only a game so till next time Bye for now.